Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Maid. And it is come time to uh, do uh, the insides of this vessel, of our uh, missile boat. So, we are going to do what comes natural, and steal them from another vessel. Namely, from the cutter. Because I was a thinking, I kind of like this, this room here, so we are going to steal this room. Come on, let's copy a selection and take her down like that, and let's paste it. This sort of common room, I really like it. So let's see here. Let's rip out the stuff we don't need. And keep the stuff we do need. So, and let's see, that's a knot. We'll throw an and up here, or an activation up here. To those and let's see that is should be yeah all right we'll throw the activation to hold the red lights and the knot to hold the less than red lights or control there we go not really hold let's pop that out and grab this and some of that all right, and then we will well, we'll rip this wall out here or this this um come on brain work with me window out and we will just make this a solid room for right now no door no door so I can adjust the door where it needs to be all right so then we're gonna copy the selection from here to here. And that's what a, we're gonna save it as a five, uh, is that a two by three common room? Okay. All right. So we have a modified common room now. And do I just wanna, kinda just wanna, Copy selection and grab from that corner down to this corner. All right, let's hop out of the, whoop, let's not do that. Let's hop out of this vessel and hop back into the cutter. And not the cutter, the, um, what are you? Help me, brain. That is only four tall. Um, come on, you know what it is. Come on, tell me, tell me, brain. Missile bomber, uh, missile boat. There we go. I knew I'd get it. So let's see. Uh, we have that. We're going to do you in one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. All right. So that one, uh, 15, 10. All right. So I'm going to piece this thing right here. What? That's where you're going to put the, the, the bedrooms right there in the, uh, on top of the, the missile tubes. No, that's where I'm putting them because I need them to stay right there for a moment because I need elevator stuff. Actually, tell you what, we're just gonna scrap that, and we'll grip them, grab them properly here in a little bit. Let's see. I'm on an elevator top. Load and paste. Uh, let's grab an elevator middle. Load and paste. And paste and nope, nope, nope. Undo. And let's do a landing. Load in paste. Okay, that'll work. Then that is just that. All right. Oh, no, no, my weapons are down there. I forgot about that. Oh, oh, and I need a bottom to bottom. Load in paste. Paste. Okay, it needs to come down one. It also needs to go the right way. So undo that. 
There we go. Is that a gap? That is a, not really a gap, but it is not good. And paste right there. All right. Uh, okay, so let's then rip out this nonsense because it's going to get in our way a little bit. And oh, we need controls. Control, load, and paste. We're not going to set the controls there. We're going to throw the controls back here. All right, so let's see. All you go here. All of you go here. You go backwards to a button that's right here. You go backwards to that button. That one feeds into this one. This one feeds into that. All right, so that should make those go up and down, except it doesn't because these are the wrong orientation. That's why I usually put that in line, but I didn't. Didn't today. Down and... Um, no. And you go up. All right. So now we'll try that again. Oops. No, stay in the vessel. All right, and out of habit, we'll stick that there. All righty. And let's set up our doors. And there we go. We're in the inactivation module here. And one all the way down here. And then you tie into a knot and you tie into a knot, and the knot controls the store. And we need to turn you into a... a, um... Oh, stop that. Wedge. Down and grab that knot, and just piece this one in. So this when this goes down, now we're going to grab our admin. We're going to say it's a 5 elev, which is my 5x5 five five, uh, elevator platform, which I just blueprinted so I don't have to build it a thousand times. And that's going to make my logic... Well, you always cycle your logic. There we go. Because it's never right the first time. See? Come back up. There you go. All right, what's wrong? Go down and then come back up. Oh, well, that would uh, that would explain why that isn't working. Oh, there's a piece of glass in the way. Okay, so now let's try that again. And we go back up. Always, always test your logic. Something is wrong. And that is a horrible place to have my core. I mean, you just right there, door. Core. <laughs> well, we will... Uh... We will not view this as a horrible, horrible mistake on my part. We will view this as a um, building challenge to integrate immediate core as part of the decor. Hmm. Oh, oh, well, we need these guys here. Oh, about except we have to reroute those lines. Why are you putting wedges there? Because if I don't, you can't reach the button from the uh, inside while you're while you're, um... Well, you can't reach the button if you're inside the elevator. Well, you really shouldn't have to, but... All right, now, let's see. Let's put you here. All right, so... You're gonna come here, you're gonna come here, you are gonna go there. All right. Because you should never enter... 
you should never be here without that being open. But I like it just in case something goes horribly wrong, or you accidentally close the door, someone else closes the door on you, it'll work fine. All right. Now we have that done. Let's... Uh, let's line up some hallways. We're going to use our two hallway. In fact, we're going to do a T right here. All right, and we're going to pop that out so we have access to that uh... come on brain access to that button now we want some corners I want these like to be no they don't need no they can't be symmetrical all right so one corner going this way and one corner going that way So now let's turn symmetry mode on and come down here and go one, two, three, four, five. That should line up just perfect like. This one should come this way and no. This one should come this way and this one should come this way. All right, I'm getting there. Hold on. What are you doing? All right, the idea is have hallway here interior come this way and this airlock or this to go out to the airlock and the airlock's on the starboard side so that is the uh, what's going on in in my little brain except you are not right five by five by five uh, Remove mode and rip you out entirely. And let's paste. There, that should be right. There we there we go. So this way to get to the airlock, this way to get to living quarters. Alright. Now. Now we Plop in a bathroom. Five bathroom two loot in paste. Except it needs yeah, of course it needs a let's try that. Paste. He's right there. Alright. So now let's hop back into the cutter of one of eight and steal the bunks out of it again. So let's actually try to make it work this time. Copy selection, I want that block there. That should get the floor. And... That's one, two, three, four... That block there. All right. Make sure we got it. I uh, come up here and paste. We got it. All right. So then let's hop back into this vessel. Where am I? Let's hop back into this vessel and paste our brand new bunks, which is just fine. And let's what? Let's steal this. Oops. Selection. No, I'm going to copy selection there to there and let's paste it here. All right. Let's rip out all of these activation modules because when you put down a template, it doesn't overwrite anything. So I want it to overwrite those activation modules because they're not right. Then we just Actually, let's up out all the corners. Oh, actually, what what we're doing here? All right, there we go. And then poke a hole there. Then we grab our three by two or two by three common common room, and we throw it right there. In fact, this is the exact same orientation it was a 
Oh, hello. What's going on? Well, you ninny hammer. You... Uh, it really helps if your hallway's lined up so you can walk down it. Okay. So that's annoying. So it looks like I need to get rid of... That block there. And then paste him... Whoa, 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 stop that. We'll do it from below. There we go. What do I get for doing odd paste jobs? There we go. All right, there. Now we grab the common room, not the restroom, the common room. Just paste. And plonk her down right here. And rip the door out. All right. Even has the bunk one B or one two C four five. Awesome. So we got our bunks, and let's grab that. I don't know about windows. Probably no windows. Common room. I think all of the ships of this of this size, if you or class class size, are probably going to have common rooms instead of, um, instead of, uh, dedicated mess halls. This, this is not a particularly large vessel. Doesn't need a lot of crew. Most of it's gonna, most of the systems are automated, if you will. Not really gonna need a cargo hold. Not gonna need a systems room, although we might put something here-ish. Don't know yet. And we do, however, want to wire up. There we go. So now you have a little privacy when you go to the bathroom. All right. Pull that out, and we will then add a um, metal grill. A truncated metal grill. There. All right. We're looking good. We have the innards of our missile boat. Well, we have the living quarters of our missile boat. I'm still planning a nice big defensive turret here. So this thing could be... Well, I'm really thinking of it being like a stationary weapons platform. But we'll see what happens. I have been JW608. This has been StarMade, and I will do you cats later.